Lucky stars, are they really lucky? My girlfriend called me the other day laughing and told me she'd been in church where the pastor had been giving a sermon he was so passionate about that he finally raised his hands and blurted out, we should thank our lucky stars for Jesus. <laughs> well, I am grateful for Jesus in my life and I do recall that a star was involved in the nativity story, but I don't think lucky stars had anything to do with it. It seems to happen a lot though, without thinking about it, lucky stars get a lot of credit for things that I think God actually does. And worse, they sometimes lead us down a path in the opposite direction of God's plan for us. A few days ago, I got an email that I loved. I get a lot of forwarded stories and inspirational messages, and this one was particularly moving and encouraging to me. It spoke of God's love and grace and reminded me of all the scriptures in the Bible that mention God's promises to protect me and to love me and forgive me and guide me. And by the way, if I forward it to 10 other people in the next 15 minutes, something wonderful will happen to me by 5 o'clock next Tuesday. And if I didn't, well, the message would be lost forever and I would somehow break a chain that had lasted for six years and I would miss out on innumerable blessings that I might have gotten if I just pressed forward. Well, it was actually something very much worth forwarding to friends who I knew would appreciate the message. But I couldn't. I couldn't pass along something that lifted the Lord up in one sentence only to suggest that He was not the Almighty God in the next. It's so easy to mix a little luck into our faith, you know, but let me encourage you today to think about all the little unconscious ways we give power to luck instead of trusting that, that God knows what He's doing. Take a moment to rethink some of the seemingly harmless, superstitious things we can do unconsciously. It's important because superstition began as a human attempt to control what could not be controlled or understood. But if we've put our future into God's hands, covering our bases with superstition actually nullifies our belief that God can do what He has promised. Ask yourself, am I a God truster or a God pluser? God plus a lucky penny, God plus a psychic, God plus a horoscope, God plus a stone or an amulet or an email forwarded to 15 friends by 5 o'clock. Have you ever read or heard of God needing anyone or anything else to accomplish His will? I haven't. All He needs to help me is a place in my heart. And if you forward that to 15 friends, well, who knows what sort of good things could happen. See you soon.